Welcome to another Dorcas McCory video tutorial. This one you'll learn how to toggle all checkboxes with zero lines of code. This is the finished product of what you'll be learning to create. We have it scripted to where all the checkboxes on the page become the value of the master checkbox. And you'll see sometimes in like private messaging systems or something like that, there'll be a whole list of things down the page and you can highlight certain ones all together to delete them all at once. So that's why you might want to allow your users to highlight all of them at once like that or deselect them all at once like that. Okay, here we are with the bare bones of an HTML5 web document. Mine is named example.html. In the body element, I'm going to insert my HTML for this example. You can see that I have four simple checkboxes here. Each one has a unique ID and they all have the same class of CB group 1 that stands for checkbox group 1 and above them I have another checkbox with an ID of CB group 1 master with the words toggle all next to it if we render this we'll see that when we hit our toggle our master toggle nothing happens to these guys down here so what we'll do is in the on change event of this master checkbox we're going to run a JavaScript function named toggle checkboxes and we're going to send that function two arguments. This, which is going to represent this CB group one master, because this is reference to the item that's calling the function, which is this master checkbox. And then the second parameter we're sending it is the class or the group of elements by class name to the function. The group of elements that we want to affect on the page. So up top in the head section, we'll need our scripting element. Make sure we close it. And inside, we need this function, toggle checkboxes. And it has to take two arguments in. Let's make sure we go down and close that with a closing curly brace. So function toggle checkboxes is being sent two parameters here, or two arguments. So we're going to scoop those up. The first one, we're going to name master. The second one, we'll name cn for class name. Now the first line inside of the function, we're going to create a variable called CB array, and that's short for checkbox array. And we'll make that equal to document dot get elements by class name. So we'll get elements by their class name, and we'll feed it the parameter it needs of the class name that we want to grab. Get elements by class name returns an array of all of the elements that are found to have that class name on the page. So basically in CB array you have all four of these checkboxes ready to be manipulated through JavaScript. And all we have to do is bust that array down in a for loop and we can get to them individually. So we'll say for open close parentheses, put an opening curly brace and go down a couple of lines and put a closing curly brace. And as many of you know the for loop takes three parameters. First we establish the variable i which is going to be our incrementing variable through the for loop so each time this for loop runs that variable is going to increment by one by i plus plus here so the second parameter is the evaluation so as long as i is less than cb array dot length which in our case is going to be four so as long as i is less than the length of the array this for loop is going to process so when i reaches the length of the array this for loop will stop processing. So within the loop, we can grab reference to each individual checkbox by saying document dot get element by ID, and then we reference the array, the index number, and we grab the ID for the individual checkbox. And that gets put into a local variable called CB. Then we have just one more line. We say CB is equal to master dot checked. Now if we run this in our browser, we toggle all, you'll see that they all toggle on and off according to the value of the master toggle checkbox. And let's take a look at it in Internet Explorer. So that's a simple and effective way to toggle all checkboxes on or off in modern browser software.